roles can regional and sub-regional actors and organizations play in the maintenance of international peace and security? Why is it important to consider the responsibilities of first responders in crisis management? The escalating nature of conflicts across the world calls for a paradigm shift in strategies to halt the humanitarian crisis which cuts across borders as observed by the United Nations Security Council. Member states are analyzing the importance of strengthening regional organizations and non-governmental agencies as first responders, considering the comparative advantage of a firm understanding of local context and knowledge of early warning signals. The United Nations increasingly shares responsibility for peace and security with regional organizations. We should do everything possible to help them resolve regional problems and to include the states concerned in solutions. Uruguay and Vietnam. At the same time, regional organizations should continue contributing to United Nations peace and security efforts. The drafters of the United Nations Charter were very perceptive in envisioning a world where the United Nations and regional organizations would work together to prevent, manage, and resolve crises. Over the years, notable instances of cooperation between the United Nations and regional organizations, particularly in peacekeeping and conflict prevention, have yielded significant dividends. We believe that these gains hold a lot more promise for the future. We encourage regional organizations to review their own planning, authorization, human rights monitoring, and governance structures so that together we can create a more coherent international and regional approach to conflict. We are deeply concerned about the ongoing activities of, arm, of the armed group Boko Haram in a number of countries. We welcome the efforts of regional partners in Abuja to provide assistance to countering this armed group, threatening the security of Western African states and countries of the Guinean Gulf. Member states also made reference to Chapter 8 of the United Nations Charter that states that the Security Council has the primary responsibility for the maintenance of international peace and security. We would also like to caution that while regional organizations can at times play a useful role in assisting the UN, the primacy of the United Nations cannot be denied. While neighbors bring familiarity and ownership, they can also bring independent equities and interests. In order for our partnerships to be effective, we need to share responsibility and accountability, even as we divide our labor based on comparative advantages. In South Sudan, while the Security Council has deployed over 12,000 troops to the United Nations peacekeeping mission in South Sudan, the Security Council has deferred to the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, EGAD, to lead mediation efforts. Given the outrageous failure of the parties to reach an agreement yesterday, support for the regional political process now must mean a readiness of the Security Council to take action, to mobilize our collective resources, and increase pressure accordingly on those frustrating peace. They therefore called for reliable and effective architecture of cooperation between the United Nations and regional organizations for accurate implementation in the process of peace building. From the United Nations headquarters in New York, Joy Usiago, NTA News.